On this episode of Brand Sip, it's time to get naked. Wrong kind of naked. We're talking about naked malt. This bottle was a gift from my buddy Jeff. Jeff and I have been friends for a long time. He's my oldest, well, I got old friends, but he's the friend that I've had for the longest that I can remember. Anyways, we go back for like 40 years. My earliest memory of Jeff is going to his eighth birthday party back when we were just, well, eight years old, and that was a long time ago. Anyway, Jeff has been watching our Brand Sip videos lately and he hopped over to our Buy Me A Coffee page and uh, very generously uh, offered a donation which allowed me to purchase this bottle of Naked Malt from, uh, well, made by the Highland Distilling Company. Today we're gonna do a little brand review of Naked Malt and then we're gonna get it in a glass and give it a little taste. So let's get started. First of all, uh, Naked Malt is a product of uh, the Highland Distilling Company in Glasgow, Scotland. And this is uh, recently rebranded, redesigned, uh, and it originally was known as the Naked Grouse. Highland makes the Famous Grouse uh, series of whiskies, including uh, Famous Grouse, uh, Smoky Grouse, um, what else? I forget. Um, anyway, Naked Grouse was one of their offerings. It's a blended malt. Uh, scotch whiskey and they've recently redesigned and retooled a little bit and just called it Naked Malt. So let's give it a little brand sip score and we'll find out where this ranks uh, on our scale here. I kind of like the bottle, it stood out to me on the shelf and I think that's an important part of our brand score is the brand, the shelf presence and certainly this bottle uh, looks like nothing else out there that I could see. Uh, it stood out to me and it was uh, enough to draw me into it. The label is very simple. I really love the embossed or debossed bottle uh, artwork on it. It's got a, um, a barrel and it says the word naked across it. The label is uh, white printing on clear, um, on clear substrate and then there's a paper label around the neck of the bottle this bottle also has a wooden uh, topper with uh, the logo um, etched into the top of that as well with a cork stopper. Good looking bottle. There's some, uh, you know, cutesy little um, text on it there, but um, I find that the white text on the clear label is a little bit difficult to read. Maybe I'm getting too old for that. I don't know, but. It's a good looking bottle. Shelf presence pretty strong. Uh, the bottle design, uh, certainly they've invested in, in the custom bottle here, uh, which is gonna make them stand out for sure. Social media, Naked Grouse, um, Naked, Naked Malt has uh, a pretty good presence. They're really active on Instagram. They've got a good Facebook page as well. The website's pretty good. There's some, um, some recipes there, of course, and some nice information and some videos about um, the process and the, the things that they do to make this product, which I think is nice. As far as value for money is concerned, I think it's pretty reasonable. Retail price here in my area is $50 for a 750 mil, which puts us at seven, seven cents per milliliter, which is uh, fairly kind of, as far as I'm concerned, medium uh, price range for a whiskey. Uh, I felt the value is reasonably good. So let's get it in a glass and see what we think of that. You can tell what I think of it because it's already uh, got some missing. I really like the color of this. It's uh, a nice amber color. Naked Malt is uh, a blend of Highland Park and Glentura and Macallan. Uh, those are all labels that are owned by uh, the same company that owns um, Naked Malt and Grouse. And that's the Highland Distilleries Company. This is nice, smooth smelling. I don't know 
to tell you about the smell. Um, it's certainly um, not strong. You can smell that it's whiskey, um, but it's caramelly. Not exactly. A little, maybe. A little bit of salt. Not super salty, just kind of a slight brine to it. It's nice and warm. I would say a little nutty. Maybe a, like a hazelnut. Yeah, I get a little bit of brine, very slight. A little bit of, um, a little bit of smoke to it. You know, it's it's definitely a blended malt, and I really like it. It reminds me a little bit of Akintoshin, which I love. Um, hmm. I would say some vanilla. pepper just a little like just enough to let you know that it's there I, I really like this stuff I would definitely buy again would drink again thank you to Jeff for uh, providing this I appreciate it um, this is really good stuff um, yeah highly recommend it if you see naked malt or Naked Grouse, if you still see some of the older bottles out there, uh, pick up one. I highly recommend it. It's a, a nice a nice one. It also makes a great old fashioned. I did that the other night, um, a proper old fashioned. If you saw my other video of um, swear jar whiskey, uh, I did an old fashioned with that that I really didn't care for. It kind of disappeared in that. I'll put a link to that video up here somewhere. Um, this one made a super nice old fashioned with just a, I just did some brown sugar and some orange bitters and a twist of orange, orange rind and, and this stuff and some ice and super good. Really enjoyed it a couple of times. So to recap, let's give Naked Malt a brand sip score. Shelf presence, I'm going to score this a three out of five. Label artwork a three. The bottle design a four. Social media, four out of five, and value for money, four. That's the brand score of 18. And for the sip score, five out of five for taste. Really love the flavor of this. Legs, also pretty good. Like these, it's hanging onto the glass nicely. Uh, four out of five there. Nose, super good. Alcohol content, uh, I forget what this is. Um, it's hard to see it. Where is it on the label? Uh, 43% so about what it should be four to five there overall feel there on the mouth a five sip score of 23 so our overall total brand sip score 41 out of 50 uh, great stuff highly recommended go pick up a bottle of naked malt and get naked Hey, I'm Aaron from Square Thunder, and we do label design for the spirits industries. If that's something that you need some help with, give me a shout. You can find me at squarethunder.com. If you'd like to support uh, this channel and the way we do our brand sip things here, if you'd like to send me something, that's cool. If you want to donate to the cause, you can find me at uh, buymeacoffee.com. I'll put a link down in the description below the video. You can click on that and uh, donate some uh, a little bit of pocket change there to the to the beverage fund and help fund this uh, this service this this series. Um, but yeah, go get some naked malt and live naked. Hey, if you're gonna drink, make sure you drink responsibly. We'll see you next time right here on Brand Zip. Cheers.